I'm Ini Lash and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Paris for COP21. Delighted to be now with one of our media partners, Grace Wong Foyer from Inspirel. And you're one of the co-founders. Yes. We had an amazing event here last night, which I always say when you walk into an, um, a room full of only women or mostly women, there's a sort of different dynamic and energy, mm -hmm. very high energy. It was fantastic. What was the inspiration behind Inspirel, if I can say that? And <laughs> tell me a little bit about it. Well, um, I work with two partners, and we are all three expat women who live here in Paris between six to 25 years, and um, we were just trying to create something that we want to read, that our friends want to read. We did focus groups with other women living here, and we found that there was something missing that mm -hmm. really spoke to us um, about the issues we care about, um, the practical information you need to sort of navigate your life around mm -hmm. a new home, a new country. Um, and a lot of times when you move to a new country, the first couple of years can be really tough. Mm. And uh, we wanted to create something, a website, um, a community that uh, we needed when mm -hmm. we first moved here. Mm -hmm. So tell me about some of the articles, for example, around um, the bombings at, in mm. Paris. So how did, how did you respond? How did your bloggers and writers respond to that? Yeah, that was a real test for us because, I mean, we're just three months old as of yesterday. Um, and we're like an online lifestyle magazine for women. Um, so normally we write to inspire, connect, and empower women. And we had to very quickly to think, okay, how are we going to respond mm. to this? Without being a news publication, um, we need to respond in a human way, the way uh, Inspirel would like to. So I reached out to our bloggers, and immediately a number of them responded. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we have a male blogger who actually lives in New York, and he and his family uh, had a moment of solidarity mm -hmm. with us, which he shared through a beautiful 200-word essay about how they, the next day, went into the basement of a friend of theirs and had a mini concert right. to you know, do, uh, celebrate and mm -hmm. honor the people who died at the concert which was very touching. And another woman who's a published award-winning author, Melissa Dalton Bradford, um, who wrote a touching essay about uh, living with fear, the novelists of fear, how to get out of that um, mm -hmm. shell and fighting uh, fear with compassion for others. Um, and also a policeman who wrote about the practical side of how do you feel safe on the streets? Mm -hmm. Are the police um, doing everything they can to protect us and uh, what we can do to protect ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. so we have a little video link about um, what to do when you're confronted with an active shooter. Mm -hmm. So it's all about, you know, the, the real human aspect. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary. And how are you treating COP21? What are some of the, the articles that have been up since that? Um, well, because we're a partner with Hub Culture, uh, we also mention what's going on here, the climate Thank discussions. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we did a roundup of all the, we called it uh, COP21 people power. Mm -hmm. So uh, what the average citizen can do uh, to join the climate conversation. So we wrote about like six or seven different events that are going around on around Paris, from Art COP21 to the Human Energy Project, which is, uh, starting, I think, uh, over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Or it's actually just started yesterday, where people are biking and uh, running under the Eiffel Tower and generating enough mm -hmm. power to light up the Eiffel Tower. I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. Grace, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion. Thank you. Here in Paris.